made it. So <laughs> so I'm back now. Uh, this is my first show back since I was uh, out with Aces, um, vacation, this and that. Uh, so I'm happy to be back, and I'm happy to be talking here with Tony Smith, who is the new general manager of Finley Motor Company. Welcome. Welcome to the show, and welcome to town. Yeah, Great. welcome, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, guys, very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here, and I appreciate you having me on and uh, and uh, get to know everybody a little better. Thank so you. you've actually been here for – Probably a month or so now. Eight weeks now, April 18th. Oh, man, I was way off. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, a little bit of a transition. Uh, yeah. You came from our Finley store, Chevrolet store in Las Vegas. Correct. Correct. That's right. Um, how was that transition? I, obviously, uh, yeah. Vegas to Bullhead, we always say, uh, did they know where we were? Right. You know, like that's kind of our joke down here. Yeah, it's, but, uh, it's kind of funny you say that because, you know, the reaction to people when I tell them that I got promoted and where I went to Bullhead City, they kind of give me that look like, <laughs> what? Bullhead? Why? And I'm like, you know, it's still a, it's a promotion for me, obviously. Uh, it's a good company. Uh, and quite honestly, uh, I probably had the same reaction, too, when uh, when they told me and we were talking about it. But when I get down here and I meet the local people, it's been fantastic. I mean, everyone I have met has been awesome, and they've been welcoming, and I really, really enjoy being here. Yeah, I, I know that everybody always thinks I'm just, uh, like, politicking for the town, but <laughs> when I tell them I enjoy being right. here, and uh, I, I enjoy some of the right. fun stuff in Vegas, but right. I don't miss the crowds. I don't miss the right. stuff. I like right. the little smaller, slower life. Right. Uh, so hopefully you adapt to it well. Um, what what was it like uh, coming out of that big old store? I don't know if you guys know, but you were part of you know one of the top dealers in the country for Chevrolet for years and years and years. Uh, what was it like coming down here and then seeing what it, what we had down here? Well, you know, we were a big store up there. Or they, they still have a big store, obviously. Uh, I had 140 people under me just in the fixed op side, so the parts and service side. So I come to a dealership that's got about 108 in it. Uh, it is a little different pace for sure. Um, you know, my day-to-day -day stuff has changed, but the people is what makes all the difference. And the people that are here have been very supportive. And unfortunately, I'm kind of finding myself, I need to find something to do. Because <laughs> I, they're doing such a great job. I'm like, last day of the month, I'm usually running around because I'm closing stuff. And uh, But with the with my new position, all the people are in the right places. It, this is a successful store. It yeah. really is. We, it does we well. have a... Um and this is from a guy who's been at the store for quite a while. We have a really nice team. I've seen teams come and go, good teams, teams that were rebuilding, this and that. The team we have now is a pretty solid team. So, Very solid. Um, hopefully they've been supporting you well. And Very everyone's much been, so. been nice, you know, yep. hasn't yep. Uh, picked on you or nothing. Yep. Gave you bad Not directions. Yet. They you sent know. you out to Oatman for dinner at night or something. Not yet. Or. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think Chris has been tempted to a couple of times, but he hasn't yeah. done it. But he, you know. He gave you the ninth good. green at 9 o'clock. Is that <laughs> yeah. what he did? So. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. now – we had talked before, um, and you were down here when um, the Kona Ice Girls were here, and they yes. were talking coffee, mm -hmm. they were talking sweets, mm -hmm. and it sounds like uh, you're a little bit of a food guy. Uh, you know, my wife calls me a coffee snob. Thing, so. Yeah, we're a coffee snob, and we're big foodies. My wife and I are big foodies. We love eating out. We like trying different restaurants. Um, you could probably name any restaurant in Vegas. We've probably tried it. We just we used to go out two or three times a Have night. Have you been to Johnny week, Max? I mean, Johnny Max, we have, and I'm trying to remember when we did. Um, we did. Now, see, I, I mentioned earlier my wife remembers these things better than I do, so uh, I had to think about that for a minute. But I had to ask her. <laughs> so I had been going to Johnny Max yep. for years. When mm -hmm. I worked um, for Finley Motor Company, I would travel to Vegas two days a week for auctions, mm -hmm. uh, meeting, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I got turned on to this Johnny Max spot in Henderson. Right. And uh, people think I'm crazy. If we go to Vegas, I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going to Johnny Max. And so you start heading back, and then you go way off the other direction, and you hit Johnny Max. And I've never had anybody tell me that the food wasn't awesome. So that's great. Yeah, it is good, very good. And we're we're, for, we're fortunate that they have a lot of good chefs, a lot of good restaurants. But we're, you know, we're starting to see some here too. So if anybody has any suggestions for some good restaurants, I'd love to hear it. We've still got a few that we've tried, but we've got a lot more we so want to do. So if you guys so. have any suggestions for restaurants or questions for Tony, whatever mm -hmm. that is, uh, just throw them in the comments. Jeff will yep. filter through them and, right. and try to get them to us as we can. We really want you guys to get to know Tony the way we've got to know Tony mm -hmm. here in the last uh, apparently longer than a month, but uh, last couple <laughs> months. Okay. So um, Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you're having <laughs> fun. So uh, now 
if I understand correctly, you got brought down here pretty abruptly. You uh, you kind of had to come down and set up camp, yeah. so to speak. We did, yeah. So we it was within ten days. I uh, from the time that the owner talked to me about it, and the time I got here was a ten days. So we have a fifth wheel that uh, I'm staying in at Davis Camp, which is uh, actually quite nice camp, as you can see. Yeah. Now this is a motorhome that uh, we. It's a Newell. It's a 1988 Newell. It's That's been a nice one. Great taking. It's been taken care of very well. Uh, my wife's uncle had it, and he kind of passed it on to us to use. So, but it is an old diesel pusher, and I don't know if you ever been behind one, yeah, but I, have. I always look in the rearview mirrors. I'm getting ready to start because I know <laughs> someone's going to be mad at me because I'm about to blow black smoke all in their car. So, hey, the kids but, uh, think that's cool. Nowadays, they do, so. yeah, absolutely. Uh, so. so you're staying at Davis Camp. Davis Camp. How was that over uh, Memorial Day weekend? The zoo or what? Well, you know, we actually ended up going back to Vegas <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> it's it. probably a smart move. Yeah. And uh, a, the couple of guys move. that stay there a lot, he said, "Yeah, you're good to be out of here." And uh, we had gone back for a wedding, so we went back up there on a Saturday. We came back Sunday, and uh, yeah, the park. Uh, we saw an article. Someone sent me an article. It was completely full. Yeah. And then when we got back Sunday, it had a lot of people. You know, there. I don't know what the world's like in Vegas. It's mm -hmm. kind of a uh, event town all the time. Um, mm -hmm. But down here, such a unique place because what are normally like super busy sales weekends or things like that, the whole damn town's out on the water. Right. And so, uh, a lot of times. You know, we'll have vendors call and be like, hey, you guys want to do a sale? We're like, listen, that's like throwing money into the river. Right. It's just like throwing money into the river. They're, everybody's out on a jet ski. Everybody's out doing whatever. So right. um, we got to figure out how to take those vehicles out there on the water with them. Huh? Yeah, no <laughs> kidding, huh? Uh, mm. Now, one of the things, which I think is great that you Davis camp because it's like two minutes away, right? Yes, it so is. So yeah. that's pretty Truck solid. Truck doesn't even get warmed up. Uh, it is very close. It makes it nice. You can, I can go run over there if I need to for lunch or something. But uh but yeah, it, it, I'm really enjoying it. It's quiet. I've met a couple of the guys. There's volunteers there. They get they if they volunteer, they don't have to pay their rent, you know. So it's kind of neat for them. They work in the mornings. But I've met a couple of people there that just and again, so just like everybody here, they've been super nice and helpful, and uh, it's just been it's been good. I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I really am. So we got a, oh sorry. Oh yeah, well, I was gonna say we got a picture of uh, where you came from here. Oh, okay. let's check it out. All yeah, right. there you go. As you can see, that's a little bit older picture. I got some hair there, so uh, <laughs> I uh, thought that was yeah. someone else. Oh. <laughs> right, most people do. So <laughs> that was a nice article they did for me in, in the RJ. There's a gentleman that used to do that for us in the car business up there. Um, and uh, he did that and took the picture outside there, but that's outside. So now show. listen, cool. guys, it's a nice, it's a nice location, this and that. But you really don't need to go up there. You just come yeah. down here, see right. us on the parkway. Exactly. Yep. Um, yep. Now, what are some things that you want to bring down from the Vegas world? Things that you learned, maybe, uh, you know, maybe some mantras. What, what do you, what is something you hope to? Now that you've been here for a while, you've kind of seen what we are. Um, what do you hope to inject and make your own? You know, I've been a, I grew up in a family owned business. My dad was a, a meat cutter and we had a grocery store and meat market. And one thing my mom taught me at a young age is taking care of customers and taking care of people and just treating them like you would want to be treated. Right. And not that we're not doing that, but I think we just need to do a little bit better of that and, and treating our people as they come in. I feel if we take care of our customers, everything else is going to fall into place. Yeah. We don't have to worry about the, the money or the nickels and dimes that'll happen. We just got to take care of our customers referrals are huge for our business obviously and if we take care of those people like their own they're going to tell other people about us yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't agree more um and again it, it's not like we don't try to do those things but i'll tell you to be honest it was a tough run over those covid years sure. when we were limited in what right. we, we we used to be able to offer rides and courtesy mm -hmm. cars and all right. these things and right. a lot of those things that helped our customers got taken away from us and sure. now there's you know inventory issues and these other things um, and I think it's a good time to kind of refocus and take a look at how can we do this? We may not be able to do it the same way we did before, but how can we do this with people? Do so with people, right. I think it's a great, uh, you know, a great way to look at it. I'm super excited to see, uh, what all we put in and, uh, all that stuff. Now, where did, where did you come from? I, I know that that's not a Vegas accent, so no, <laughs> no, it comes out, uh, my accent starts coming up. I get tired if I had maybe a, a you know, a cocktail or two, or, or if I get around someone else from the South, I really start slanging in. So when my, what, everybody knew when I was talking to my mom, cause it would really come out, but I'm from Mississippi originally in a town called Meridian. I grew up there, uh, and I joined the military when I was 19 out of high school. And then I was stationed down in Panama City for six years, and then I went to Houston, Texas for a year. So kind of moved around quite a bit. Um, first wife was a travel nurse. We did a lot of traveling there, too, moving to different parts of the country. Tennessee, 
Colorado. Uh, I moved from Colorado when I moved to Vegas and a place called Grand Junction, but but uh, Florida. We lived in quite a few different places, so yeah. Travel around quite a bit. Quite so a bit. So how'd you end yep. up in Vegas from all that? Uh, ex-wife. Yeah. It's usually a spouse or something, right? That does it. It's now. always something, right? <laughs> that's how I ended up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of you know. Um, we were we were having some challenges in Colorado, you know, and we thought she got a promotion. Um, she found a job, a better job in Vegas, and never I had never been at that time, and, um, and we decided to do it. And somehow, know that all our problems followed us. We thought we could leave them in Colorado, but you can't do that. <laughs> they they can always come with you, right? So, but it worked out good. We have a great relationship. We have a son together, and uh, it's worked out good. And um, I ended up staying there, and my current wife now I'm with. Uh, We've been together 17 years. Her family's been there since the 40s. Uh, so there's a lot of history there with them. So we're, we're Does she know anything there. about those bodies they're finding in the lake up there? Or? Well, her dad is denying it. You know, he was – her dad and uncle were in the casino business, and I give them a lot of heck, you know, uh -huh. a lot of, lot of um, ribbing about that. But, you know, they're all denying. They don't know anything about it. But, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, sure, uh, sure. it's funny. Nobody knows anything, <laughs> Nothing, right? yeah. yeah. It didn't exist. We don't know what you're talking you about. You end up in a lake if you know too much. So <laughs> right. you don't want to do that. So. Exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> now you mentioned uh obviously uh ex-wife wife, wife mm -hmm. uh son um you have some grandkids like yep. what's the family think of this move they go uh what are you doing mm. down there it's too hot they are th you oh, know they're kind of uh, yep, there they are there's all our grandkids there um we have uh two girls and three boys the girls are one's the oldest one's the youngest and they they actually you know the oldest girl runs those kids and runs the show they, huh? they, she runs the show <laughs> the youngest one who's four that's leah she is uh she's getting there she's learning real quick future but, uh, runner yep exactly um but they're awesome i mean we love spending time with them and uh the wife now gets to spend a little bit more time with them when she's up in vegas and not visiting me here so um is that where they're at in Vegas? They are. All, all Have our they kids come down are, and checked it out yet? No, not well. The two grand, the two smaller kids. Yeah, she okay. brought the two younger grandkids down, Leah and Grayson, and uh, took them down, let them swim there. Oh, okay. uh, Davis Camp has a little beach. Uh huh. So How about with these the dogs. Kids? And that's our kids now <laughs> currently. So uh, that is Hershey and Argent. They're chocolate lab and a silver lab, which. Uh, they're 105 pounds a piece, so they're pretty big dogs. So but, they may uh, not be loving the RV that, life. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is, my wife loves this picture. So, yeah, he, he's loving it too, as you can see. But, uh, Looks like he's a big a, lover, boy. He's a big lover, So and they're great dogs. They and, must uh, be loving being right by the water, huh? Oh, you know, all we got to – she gets them close to the water, and they just take off running. They love being out there, so it's been good. I worry about the current, you know, because the current's yeah. pretty, oh, pretty yeah. heavy. So we – Especially up in that yeah. spot, yeah. She's got life jackets for them. I think she even had them on the tether yesterday to keep them from going down, but uh, they love it. So, obviously, you've been busy working, mm -hmm. um, getting familiarized. Uh, you had to set up shop down Davis Camp. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten out and about in town any? Have you uh, found any new uh, – Little new favorite spots since uh, your old spots are in Vegas. Uh, you know what I've the one I've uh, went to quite a bit has been Laughlin Ranch. Uh, we have eaten lunch up there a couple of times. It's a beautiful golf course. I haven't played golf there yet. Uh, I am a golfer, it's but beautiful not a to good look one. at. It's not it's beautiful gorgeous. to play. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find out Saturday. We're playing in a golf tournament Saturday, yeah, so I'll find yeah. out. So. I keep score by how many balls I lose, so yeah. that's kind of the way I rate it. But we'll see what happens on Saturday. But, I remember, yeah. um, you know, there was a time, and I tried to golf a little bit more than I do now. Now I just avoid it because it's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Look, I'll pay for your golf. Don't worry about it. Let's come out and have a good time." And I said, "Listen, I still have to buy like thirty dollars in golf balls. Right, so it's not <laughs> right. That, it's still not costing that free, me. Right, you know? yeah, so, absolutely." And, I agree uh, with you. you know, Laughlin Ranch is a beautiful mm -hmm. course. Um, I mean, absolutely one of the best. It's in the best shape. I hope you really enjoy it up there yeah, when you do get you. a chance to play. Um, but it is a tough yeah. one. If you miss, you know, any way, you're losing a ball. It's off a canyon side. It's into a, you know. Yeah, so. one of the gentlemen was telling me earlier it's going to be playing. He said the same thing. So it sounds like target golf. But that's okay. We'll have fun. Yeah. Uh, it's for a good good um cause. Uh, so we're, we're going to, well, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm that'll be one of your event. first, um, uh, community outings outside. I know you made it to yep. Aces, yes. um, which uh, we really were, really were glad yep. you were able yep. to make that. Me That's too. been such a big part of um, what we give back to the community and to have it um, happen right as you were kind of getting in, getting settled uh, right. was good. Um, you joined the Traces board. I did. I did. Yes. That's, um, so uh, that's one great. meeting has been great. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good people on there. A lot of good things they're doing. And I look forward to our future with that and, grow and up growing it. A lot of those things are going to tie into this golf tournament this mm -hmm. weekend. So I'm yeah. um, really glad to get out there. Uh, that is the Bighorn. Uh, is it called the, they call it the Bighorn Challenge? Bighorn Big Big Golf Tournament? Or, uh, yes. But MCC's yep. put it on. And um, 
it all goes back to getting this program off the ground, getting more kids in school, playing sports. You can start a soccer team out there. Mm -hmm. So it'll be really cool to be in there on the groundwork of getting that going. So Absolutely. I agree. You know, and uh, what I've noticed a lot about, and especially you, and I'll give kudos to you, but being involved with the children and being involved with the young kids and the young adults and being at that Traces Award the other night, the Aces Awards, uh, I noticed how mature these people, these young kids were and how confident they were when they were up there talking. So – that's that's hats off to you guys and and the parents and the people that we are uh, we have some great that, kids so. coming through here and um, you know those of us who grew up here you know boy I don't, I don't know if you call it a renaissance or what you call it but it's mm -hmm. booming again it's growing right. there's right. people moving in yep. uh, and it wasn't always like that and um, so it's it's good to see these kids are reaping some of the benefit of you know companies like our own and many others who have sure. invested back in and um, we're very excited for that right. so uh, I wanted to ask you do you have any uh, you know other projects that you're passionate about uh, things you want to get involved in here i know you like to uh uh this is a you know fun one but i know you right. like to uh scuba i you know do there's some you scuba know guys yeah in town. it's probably we, not like the ocean but it's uh <laughs> keep you busy yeah we my wife got me into scuba diving um we first got together about you know 17 years ago we've been on about 80 something dives together so uh it's it's a whole nother world in there a lot of people uh always nervous about it when they hear about it but if you're experienced it once you get comfortable it is truly another world and it's beautiful and we've got some great shots of uh different uh you know like turtles and sharks and stuff like that we've been to some nice places so it's been it's been a lot of fun i don't i don't think we sent that picture but i was yep. going through your facebook yeah. and figuring out who who tony smith was right and yeah. uh there's this baby mm. hammerhead shark That's picture right. on oh there boy. it's got to be the cutest damn little thing mm. ever you're like how's that going to grow up to a giant mm. murder fish you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah my wife caught that we were in a uh, vero beach with some friends and um uh it was an interesting story as um we're, we're on the boat. We get out there, and we're trying to – my buddy of mine, we're trying to moor the boat and get it all settled. Well, she's already thrown her line in. Next thing you know, she's got a bite, and she brings this little shark in, right? And my buddy's losing his mind because he's been wanting to catch a shark all his life. So he's like, I can't believe she caught a shark. And this is his hometown. This is where he grew up. Oh, and he never that's had, funny. So. She's got that so, over yeah, for life, huh? Yeah, she does. Yeah, so, that's uh, great. Now, neat. you mentioned uh, having a military background. How mm -hmm. does having a military background kind of shaped where you are professionally? I would tell you more than anything, uh, the discipline of it and just sticking to it. You know, being in a, going in the Air Force right out, of, right out of high school, I was 19, as most 19-year-olds, at least <laughs> I feel like most of them, you think you know everything, you think you're I knew grown, right? I know, yeah, I you know, don't know about you. And uh, <laughs> I got on that bus with the, the, that TI and I learned real quick I didn't know everything and I was scared. I don't be, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. I was nervous, you know, and uh, but it, it helped shape me and helped me mature and grow up um a little bit better than i thought i was for sure and and i feel that discipline that we got and what they trained us to do i feel went a long ways in what i do now for sure um now do you have any uh, are you involved in any um veteran charities events things are there things we you do. participate in yeah it's um there's a couple in vegas oh my goodness you put me on the spot now but I'm trying to remember the name of it one of them's vets usa we d we we go to every year they have a, a fundraiser for them uh, and there's one other one, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting, but I do like to try to do what I can for the veterans and helping them. And, uh, you know, for me, I was at a good time in the Air Force. I was there from 83 to 90, nothing going on. They went to the Gulf War late in 90, so I had a, I had a good run of it. There's a lot of, a lot of veterans out there that need help, a lot of veterans that have gone through some really hard times. And that's the ones I feel like we need to help for sure. So I don't know what your Top Gun came out. I know that that wasn't Air yeah. Force, uh, no. but uh, right, that was Navy. That was Navy. Uh, yep. But uh, it had to have had a uh, impact on people's perception of what happened right. in the military. Like, right. is everybody out playing beach volleyball? <laughs> what, what, what are they doing here? You know. So. No. Well, I mean, I, it could have happened for us. I mean, I'm in Panama City, Florida. Yeah, you know, I'm in stage, about, Yeah. So. Yeah. But I'm playing golf, and I'm still not a good golfer, even though I started early. You know, uh, back part of the nine is along the Gulf Coast. So, I mean, part of that kind of maybe nice. maybe some truth to it. But, uh, you know, we did work. Obviously, we did a, we put on exercises. And back then, because there's no war going on, I was part of a, a program where we had targets and drones that the pilots shot at. And they used heat pods at the end of the, of the wings, and they shot those heat pods off, and we'd bring the, the drones back so they could do it again. So quite interesting but uh, <laughs> uh cool. it was pretty cool yeah. and it was like a big video game for them inside now i'm sure it's changed i mean that's a long time ago but uh, but now they got real life experience right so unfortunately i, I wish it didn't but 
that's true. another topic. Yeah, that's that's the bittersweetness of the military. You know, we want to have right. the biggest, baddest military in the world, but hope we don't ever use them, right? Is in reality, true? yeah. You know, yeah, so. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, I agree. Are you a movie guy? Mm-hmm. Have you been uh, in, interested no. in seeing that new Top Gun movie? I am interested in seeing it. That's one thing her and I don't do. Um, funny story, she was asking me the other day, should we go to a drive-in? There was some movie to drive-in. Now, Las Vegas still has a drive-in. Right. There's not many places that have drive-ins no, left, not. right? So mm-hmm. the last movie we went to at a drive-in, I forget now the name of it, but um, it was probably about 15 minutes into it. And we both went to sleep, and we both woke <laughs> up at the same time, and it was almost over. We just started laughing. I'm Best like, nap you ever had. That's, it was, I mean, it was crazy. But we, yeah. we uh, I'm not a big movie guy. Um, I do like the big event movies. Uh, I think I've seen every Marvel movie that's come out over okay. the last whatever with my children. Mm-hmm. Right. What about Jurassic Park or Star Wars? You gotta see. I'm listen. I'm gonna make right. some people mad here. I don't know <laughs> no. who's still watching. I'm just not into Star Wars anymore. I'm not I either. love the first yeah. ones. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool, yeah. you know, as a little kid. And then yeah. you watch the new ones. Then the newer ones. You're like, right. ah, what, what are we doing here? You know. My so, son-in-law is huge into it. I'm not. He's getting his kids, but I never was a big Star Wars fan. Yeah, so I get I, it. I, I love the originals when I was a little kid, and then I watch them as an adult. You're like, all right, this is kind of weird. Like, right. they got they got laser their swords but they're still riding like <laughs> desert animals i, I don't <laughs> desert animals. So, i don't know the whole thing yeah you are gonna make some people mad you might oh yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, the <laughs> i know every, i know everybody's fired up about Go obi-wan right, i watched right, it and right. i was like ah, i don't know guys <laughs> Uh, you know, I I the, you. the one thing I do know mm. since I've met Tony is he likes but to go to restaurants. He likes to eat. We, we have do. some photos of some yeah. food. Oh, we want to kind of want to go do. through. I know Shane. That's a soft spot for Shane as well. Right. Look at that handsome guy. Right, look at there, huh? Man, where's that yeah. at? You know, this is at a place called Lost Distilleries. Have you heard? It's Area 15 in Las Vegas. So they've got this big, huge warehouse now, and that's where that's at too. So. We're at this tasting that they did. So this is like a three and a half hour tasting we're at. And uh, and it's really neat. So it's inside of this submarine. So you go into oh, and cool. there's this big long table and you're sitting next to other people. And uh, and then the chef is very interactive with everyone. She comes out. She helps serve the food. She helps prepare it. And uh, it's a great experience for anybody who hasn't done yeah, it. That looks, yeah, uh, that looks amazing. It was good. It was very good. right there. Right, right. Listen, Good. that thing belongs in the ocean. Yeah. Dessert? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> is that dessert? That is dessert, and I wish I could tell you what it was. <laughs> now I can't remember. I'm sorry, but yes, that was the dessert. Yeah. I okay. struggle to eat yeah. things that look like right. decoration. I'm like, that's beautiful. <laughs> I feel like someone should just leave right. it be. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. So this is a <laughs> big sushi platter her and I did one night. I forget. Uh, I think it was um, uh, just got done with the month or something maybe, but uh local sushi bar my ex-boss was involved in a sushi restaurant and uh we got there from them so really good sushi there in vegas yeah so have you found any uh Uh, i know you had mentioned laughing ranch have you found any little uh local spots around here you know we uh we've we've went to the coyote cafe uh which was really good we had breakfast the other day and the wife really loved it and it was a special i mean a special but fresh vegetables and stuff like that the wild coyote up on the hill at bullhead parkway we tried that's really good two sisters on that we really enjoyed it uh and um Caliani's. i don't know if i'm saying that Caliano's. right Caliano's. Yeah. we had pizza the other night it's really good their special pizza it takes like 40 minutes to make it but it was really good we enjoyed worth that. the wait huh worth the wait okay. yes absolutely. you know both those those first two yeah. places you mentioned i've been and uh the food is good but you know what I like about both of them is I've had great service mm-hmm. at both of them every time I've gone. Yes. And I haven't been yep. to Caliano's in a while. I'm right. sure the service is good there as well. Yep. It was, yep. I'm but, a yes. I'm a Vito's pizza guy. I'm a, we haven't tried that one Vito's yet. Vito's is good. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a Vito's yeah. junkie. It's like two right. minutes from my house, okay. and they got right. they got like a Shane-friendly uh, yeah. menu. So <laughs> They know when he's there, they, what he wants already. Yeah. Right. And, you know, right. they've bought a lot of cars right. from us, so uh, I can't complain about how much money I spend there right. uh, when they, you know – come up and absolutely but, yeah I really agree. nice folks yeah. down there That's but good. you we'll work with a bunch of, you work with a bunch of car guys so you're gonna get a lot yeah. of food options <laughs> right. over the time. That's so, true, yeah. um yeah. any uh anything you really wish you could let people know um you know coming in here um it is a unique thing to have you know we had uh jamal come down mm-hmm. uh, many years ago right. and it was kind of funny because like the town is very friendly and welcoming but they're a little standoffish, right. you know. I don't know right. if that's a fair way to describe it, you know. Like, what 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 is something you wish you could let people know that you could tell them now? Like, hey, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to improve things. I'm here. Mm-hmm. What what is your message to town? Well, I would, you know, I 
kind of for the people that I'm that all all of you folks on work um, um that work for me now and and I don't like I hate saying that because I, we're all as a team. What I look at is that you guys are already successful. Everything's going really well here. Your teammates. I'm, teammates exactly. And I'm hopefully we can just all together take us to the next level and you know become a bigger part of the community. You guys do a fantastic job of that. But maybe we can expand that a little bit more and show people you know who we really are. We're in the people business. We just happen to sell cars. I agree. You know, I agree that's 100%. just sell and service cars. So it's all about the people. It's all about uh, relationships. Um, sometimes I think that's kind of taken the back seat to some of the social media. But I like the one-on-one, the personal relationship. And if we can get that with people, especially in a town this size, I think it's more important. And yeah. I want them to know that. You know, we have such a large social media presence. Mm-hmm. Um it's really interesting, but as we get out in town and we do community spotlights, athletes of the week, um, you know, shake hands and meet people, right. uh, it's amazing how much of a different connection you make. Sure. Uh, a different connection. Absolutely. And, um, same thing like with uh, Traces, and I'm sure you'll find mm-hmm. out here, uh, are, are you're going to the Calcutta too, right? I am, yep, yep. I'm not sure what I'm in for, but I'm, I'm going. Listen, just bring <laughs> a lot of money and bet on <laughs> bet on Matt. That's what I do. So, <laughs> I've heard that about Matt. I just found it the other day. He used to be a pro golfer. Yeah, Matt, that's awesome. Matt's a yeah. very good golfer, yeah. and um, he's super into these tournaments. Mm-hmm. So he like has All good right. strategies. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to hit this shot, and then if you hit that shot, then I can hit this shot, sure. and this and that. So uh, yeah. I've actually only golfed in probably five tournaments in the last two years, and I think I won money in four of them with Matt. Oh, wow. I played on his team, and so yeah. I always uh, lean on Matt for well, that. Uh, <laughs> I think he's on our team. I, I know Chris and I are playing together, and I'm not sure, but maybe he is. So maybe I have a chance to win some back. So Well, and I don't know. You know like I said, I don't know. I know you're not a big golfer, but nope. I'm a terrible golfer, so I have a horrible <laughs> handicap, but I occasionally hit some bomb shots. You know, I just yep. – He's hit got the strength to hit him far. Sure, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, absolutely. I, I hit yeah. a few good ones here right. or there, and so I really help my right. team if I can make a couple good shots right. around right. with my horrible handicap. So uh, maybe you – Well, I hope I can do the same, right? Listen, if you maybe take my something. spot on the golf team, man. <laughs> <laughs> All the power to you, right? Man, you took my spot on the golf team. I took your heck? spot? So, oh, I, I didn't know that. No, I, uh, I if you play well, yeah. you might take my oh, spot. Oh, okay, all right. I'll keep that in mind as I'm playing. This excites some of your pastime right here. Okay, so this is uh, actually pretty neat. We went to this uh, in February. There was a fireworks show in Havasu, actually, Lake Havasu. Okay. So the the uh, manufacturers of the fireworks put on a show every year for the vendors to come out. And uh-huh. they do this for four nights. There was hundreds of campers here oh, in wow. BLM land. And uh, we just hanging out and waiting for the fireworks show and uh, and had, uh, had a few cocktails. And uh, we, were, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah nice little getaway. Time. Yeah, it was. Yeah. What Very else you got good. over there, Jeff? You got oh, any other? Uh, I've been just going through the pictures here. I think yeah. we went through them all already. Did we? Okay. Yeah. My yeah. wife's really good. She's the one that takes the pictures. Uh, there may be one in there that shows my look on my face when she's taking them, but I mean, she loves taking them. And you know how most men don't really want to do it. I'm one of those two, but I do it. Obviously, that's what she wants. Was it this and, uh, one? Uh, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Yep, yep. And I'm just giving her that look, right? But. It's Another all in good photo, fun. Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of fun. We, she's uh, you know, she's a very important part of my life, and uh, I always tell everybody that I, I married smarter and I married up, and uh, and I have a lot of give her a lot of credit for where I am today. So uh, not only do I have a lot of good people to support me, but I definitely have her to support me when I go home. So that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. I feel like that's uh, probably the best place to end on, right? Right. Positive right. note. You know, good woman taking care of you. Sure We're enough. super happy to have you. Obviously, we had a um, you know a little transition period where we didn't have anyone, and right. um, you know we all kind of like our imagination got the best of sure. us, and then we're like, oh, <laughs> this guy's all right. This is gonna yeah. be good, you know. So uh, we we were very happy yeah. to have you, and we Thank really you. enjoyed the last uh, two months. So, sir, yep. it's uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you for Thank joining. You. You're always welcome yep. to crash the Thank show you. whenever you want. Crash and the show. Good. Well, yeah. thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, this Tony. is awesome. Thank Thank you. Absolutely. Thank Thank you. Very cool. All right. Thank you.